Hello. Well, it's a nice day today. It makes a change. It's nice to get a bit of sun on your back. People keep telling me summer's just around the corner. Well, that's if you hope so, eh? Nothing better than going for a ride with the sun on your back. These are my preferred type of uh, rides on these light like, farm tracks. Safer too. Haven't got them cars passing you all the time. Also got asked about these uh, little mirrors I changed to. Swing the camera around for you to see properly. My original ones are okay. They work fine. But uh, because I transport my bike in the car a lot, um, they were always getting knocked and I seem to be forever tightening them up but these, if I just stop for a moment <sighs> these they just swivel round and fold flat gives it a nice uh, low profile and plenty of adjustment on you I mean you've got uh, like a 360 adjustment really so and the mirror's big enough to see out of. So, yeah. I do like them. I think it came in a pack of two. I think it did. I can't remember now. But they were much. Very reasonable priced. I've had a few people ask me um, about chain noise. Derailleur noise. And it's really when the chain isn't centred on the cog and you'll get that uh, clicking sound now there, there are plenty of videos actually that show you how to set it up properly adjusting the high and low so it doesn't fall off the top cog or into the frame here but a quick a quick way to uh, Look at the index and he's put it on the middle cog and see, see how it sits on the sprocket. Obviously it should be in the middle. If it's either one way or the other, you can adjust this barrel screw here, take it in or out half a turn and have another look at it. I mean but ideally you want to have where uh, once you've indexed it take it to the top gear and uh, you will have to adjust it with this the high and low stops if it's jumping off the cog you need to uh, tweak it in a bit same with the if it's coming off into the frame just tweak the other one but like I say there's plenty of videos online for you to check that out but like I say, just a quick one. Stick it in the in the centre cog and uh, get it centred on the sprocket by adjusting that barrel adjuster. Don't know whether I'm supposed to be down this lane. <laughs> I just tend to turn off. The main road for see a track. <laughs> can you say get off, can't they? <laughs> oh, better put two hands on bars here. I think. I think that over the private land that's the army camp uh, used to be a shooting range there I don't know whether there still is looks like uh, 
somebody's 4x4 four four set up here. Somebody on guard, look. <laughs> Got his gun. Um, hoping to do probably around 15 miles today I've got my round trip I like to do a round trip not just go somewhere and come back I don't know whether you could hear that that is uh, shooting from the army camp I've got a firing range in the camp itself. Yep. Someone's having a bit of practice. Anyway, back onto the road. I have to be a bit careful along here because there's um, an HGV testing station and uh, there's always lots of wagons coming along here. So you just have to be a, bit, a little bit aware of them. I had a comment recently. Somebody saying, oh they're not hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brakes have pipes going to them. Well, yeah, that is, that's true. But I, if you watch the whole video, you'd have seen that I never stated they were fully hydraulic brakes. They're cable operated hydraulic brakes. See the cable? And it pulls a little arm, which is a little piston, which inside is oil. Hydraulic. Cable operated hydraulic brakes. I must try a distance test on this one of these days. Although uh, I've usually had enough before I reach the uh, lower end of the battery. But one of these days I'll try it when I'm feeling brave enough. How far do they go on a full charge? Who knows? How long is a piece of string? too many uh, variables to take into account however you are what power assist you use how much effort you put in road conditions is it flat is it hilly even wind slows you down much more uh, effort on the battery so it's difficult to say, but one of these days I will try it, see how we get on. Well, just, doing a, just having a bit of a pit stop, give my legs a bit of a rest. It certainly is a nice day. I've heard one or two people mentioned that oh the bike's not powerful enough it won't pull me up a hill don't like it waste of time well this is a 500 watt motor you can even get 750 watts now and this gets you up the hill just fine you just got to remember the clues in the description power assist you've got to put a bit of effort in it's not uh, it's not an electric vehicle as such it's an e-bike with power assist so yeah if you want to get up a hill pedal it 
<laughs> you've got to bear in mind this is what should we say it's a budget budget e-bike it's at the low end of the scale price wise but for what you get it's good value for sure you could pay a lot more I'm not even going to say you'll get better but yeah you can pay a lot of money yes it's uh, it's great fun and it certainly gets you out and gets you to places to uh, where you wouldn't normally probably go on an ordinary bike I know I certainly uh, travel a lot further I'm getting get on on the old push bike and <laughs> by the end of the road I'm puffing <laughs> but this you know 15 miles is effortless really and enjoyable too anyway I suppose a better uh, get on my bike as they say <laughs> do a few more miles anyway I hope you uh, enjoyed the little ride out with me and as the saying goes I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time thanks for watching